Welcome back to another review here on Mars. As always, I'm your host. And today we have my first ever amazing Yamaguchi figure. Give it up for My Hero Academia's Shoto Todoroki. The man of the prodigy child with two quirks. The one and only. Let me just start off by telling you this figure is amazing. Alright, from the accessories... From the options with the face plates, the hands, and the figure itself. Really impressed with this figure here. Now, as you saw from the intro, I was in a different location. But due to the complications from nature, i.e. mosquitoes, spiders, um, heat, hot air, you know, all the things with nature. I was unable to complete that review. I did finish it, but it was so like half-assed that I decided to go back at it today at the usual spot. It's about eight o'clock in the evening. The sun is going down, the bugs aren't out, and it's feeling great out here. And this um, quality is just really, really good. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Now I will warn you all that if for some reason you do find yourself out on a hike, on a trail, at a picnic table, anywhere out in the world in nature, and you decided to use off spray to keep the mosquitoes and bugs away, do not touch your figures. I touched this figure and I knocked off some of the paint and took it to other places on the figure. So. I'm going to give you an example of what I mean right now. So on the very back here, let's see if you can see it. There's blue on there. Right there. That's my fingerprint. From when I touch his pants or any part of the body and touch his boot. Now this happened because of the spray. Whatever chemicals on the spray knock the paint off. So let's just check out Shoto real quick and just see how really nice this figure is. Now I know with this Rovo joint by Robotech. The figure has great articulation but is limited in some areas. Um, but because of my experience with the Buzzmon figures I actually feel really comfortable with this figure and familiar with this figure which I think is great and the only thing I guess that would be different would be the Robo joint. Other than that this figure has been really <laughs> impressive to me. But let's get into articulation now. All right, so for the head, he can look up really great. He can look down good. Lean side to side. 
We'll turn all the way around. But you have to be careful because that neck joint there will spin with them too. T pose, no problem. And what I mean with the Demon Slayer figures is this joint right here, how the arm is set, and how this elbow joint is. Except for this rocking, like all weird, like that. But mainly this one right here. So T pose. Can rotate around. Now I want to say he is yep double jointed. There is a butterfly joint as well. Ooh. See now this on the other hand. I'm not sure if this is a an amazing Yamaguchi QC, QC issue or not, but see his hand just popped off, and I need to snap it back in there. So when I go to change the hands, I'm not sure if that's going to be an issue or not. Now I've encountered this with another figure. Hmm. From Limb Toys, the Leon Limb Toys figure is when I had that same issue. There's no bicep swivel, but there is a forearm swivel here at the elbow. The wrist does rotate all the way around. Now for our ab crunch, he can tuck in this much. Lean back this much. And then at his waist too, he can tuck in this much here, lean back, rotates all the way around, and then rotates all the way around. So great articulation. So now let's get into the legs here. He can do the split, but it's kind of weird. See this one, this leg is faced frontwards out, while this one is kind of, see how the legs are? That's just those rubble joints. Uh, I assume. So yeah. No issue there. You get your leg swivel here on both sides. Is double joint in the knees. Knee swivel here. Ankle rockers and swivel as well. Yeah, good articulation in the feet. Toe pivot. And go up, good. Down, side, to side. Definitely this figure has the best ankle rockers of all the figures I have in my collection. So now, with the articulation out of the way, again, let's just go back and admire how damn good this figure looks here. Now we're gonna go to accessories and then move on to the final conclusion of this review. Stay tuned. All right, we are back with the accessories. Now, before we begin, just remember he does come with one faceplate already and then two pairs of his fists there. So there's your set. And I just realized that I'm missing his little piece here for his wrist. See, it's on this side, then on this side, but I'll find that in a second. Anyways, um, let's get into these face plates first off. So he gets an additional, there's really seven. There's uh, six here, and then we have one more here. Let's go ahead and bring it up top. You can see there, so these are all the ice effects that comes with him. The hair effect there, flame effect more ice, cell phone, you get two pairs of hands and then three unique hands, one for the cell phone and then I believe the other two for these ice effects here. Okay, you get your stand here on the bottom and then you get your quirk effects here as well as the manual also. And here's that piece, found it. So here it is here. 
I'm just to put it back on. Oh yeah. There we go. Not bad, easy enough, right? All right, now let's go ahead and put some of these accessories on him. Like, I don't know, this maybe? I think they go on here, so. There's a joint here. And then you would just take it in. And then there's a, see that? Connect it. Hmm. Maybe it's not gonna work like that. Maybe like this. Okay, so maybe it's not going to go in there. Huh. I don't know. Let me. I mean, I'm guessing it would go like this. That's how it would look. And I know the flame should at least come right here. Now these, um, this figure has not been heated up as much or at all really, except for when I was doing their previous review of, on them. All right, here we go. So you kind of see how you would use his effects there. And then obviously with his, you can switch out his hands, but I'm not gonna do that just because you've seen the struggle. Uh, I guess I can try it with this hand and see how it works. Yeah, see, I'm already struggling trying to get the hand off. So that would probably be my only challenge with this figure is just um, changing out the hands, swapping out the hands and maybe using his accessory pieces. Other than that, uh, I would say he's good to go. Let's see there. So yeah, let's go ahead next and we'll uh, Swap out that hair piece real quick. Ooh. Now, I don't know if I need to have a special con or another faceplate on. Okay, I guess not. Oh, so looky here, this came out from the other one. Hmm. Not bad. I think this figure moves well. Oh, 
Oh yeah. And you can see the detail here. So, is this figure worthy? Well, I'm here to tell you all, yes, this figure is well worthy, especially if you are a fan of My Hero Academia, and if you're a fan of Amazing Yamaguchi Baba, then I would recommend this figure. This has been A-Rab Money. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.